are going to move into more of a college audition dance. We're going to stick with a little bit more classic Broadway style. And we're going to do a little combination, just eight counts of eight. Most college auditions, or really any audition, are going to be about eight counts of eight. So as you're practicing at home and you're like picking up choreography, if you can get eight counts of eight in your brain every week, that's like you've gone to the gym and your brain is going to be in much better shape to pick that up. Most audition pieces are going to have one kick or batma. They'll probably have one pirouette. They might have a small kind of jump. And then they'll probably do some sort of like little footwork or like what a little rhythm step to see how you are as a musician. And they'll probably also make sure you can change direction easily. So we're going to step with our left foot. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just a little Charleston here. It'll have a little bounce to it. We get to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you all look great. Then our feet are going to go left, right, left, touch, right, left, right, step. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, one and two and three and four and five and six, seven, eight. How did we do? Good, next part. We're gonna go step, kick, ball, change. We're getting into a little Lindy section. Lindy is a part of uh, the swing dance style. The feet work, it gets a little brisk here, but it's not hard. We have step, kick, ball, change, step, kick, ball, change. Let's do that again. Step, kick, ball, change. Oh my gosh, that's easy. We can do that. Then we've got two little sugars. We go sugar, sugar. Good. If that's not gelling in your mind, I would suggest saying it out loud. It really does help. Five, six, two, here we go. Step, kick. Good. This is the last part of the phrase. This is the last part of the hard part. The rest of the dance is easy. We have step, toe, step, step, toe, step, step. Step, toe, step, step, toe, step, step. I have step, toe, step, step, toe, step, step. Again, step, toe, step, step, toe, step, step. So you're always going to toe on the right foot. And that, te that toe does not receive any weight. So it's like the floor is hot for a little PK. So our arms are going to go step, toe, step, step, toe, step, step. Check out the difference between here, night, night, boring, and here, boom. Exciting, am I right? Thrilling. Yes. Oh, you guessed it. The last eight counts are improv. So improv is a great time to show personality, style. The dance audition is sort of a gift in that it's time that we get to spend together where I can be like, oh, Bree, she was really engaged during all of the teaching. She asked some good questions. She was really, really focused. I'd love to have her for four years in, at the school and hang out together. And the improv, great chance to be like, oh, George, he's kind of a funny guy. He's really good at moving. He can, has a mean Charleston. Wow, he can adapt his style really well. She just shared a lot with me that like, oh, great dancer, ha is funny, has some great personality. And so use that to your advantage to show something special about you because that's really, it's a gift that you get to be like, here's like five more seconds of me and what I can do. So it's 1945. World War II has ended. This cafe has survived the war. And I really want to see that reflected in the choreography. So from the heart down, we're going to do exactly what I've asked for. But from the heart up, we get to infuse it with that character. And you're going to assign a feeling to every single step. So we're going to put those steps together with story, and that's going to help me remember those steps. Everybody take 30 seconds. Pick your character. Where are you from? Why are you here in this cafe on this special evening? And how can you let the steps inform that? When everybody puts their personality on in a character, I, it's so hard to take my eyes off of you. It's like, ooh, I want to know more. This is the way to stand out in a dance audition. Other people will be super focused on the steps, and they'll be looking down at their feet. I don't care if you mess up the steps at all. At, like, literally at all. I just want to see personality and basically a willingness to be like, yeah, I want to learn to dance. Good, everybody. Well done. Big takeaways for you are going to be, obviously, personality. Two, I'd really focus on making sure that your arms are really strong. And at the end, after you pose, you should hold one, two, three, and then come back down. Pick a music that you love. 
You don't have to do it in a dance studio. We've seen people in their basements. We've seen people in their driveway. We've seen people in their family rooms. We've seen people in their school gyms. We've seen people on their school auditorium, like literally a parking lot. You do not have to spend a lot of money. You do not have need to be in a dance, dance studio or hire a dance teacher. We just need to see from your toes to your head uh, and see you moving through space.